Hello and welcome to week one of the Christmas Shred. Ready? Six weeks, six weeks we've got this. Um, so obviously this is the first video today from me. Um, I'm going to talk about mindset stuff because that's kind of my jam. I mean, I could talk to you all day about nutrition and exercise and stuff because I also love that. But um, I'm going to stay in my own lane with this and I'm going to cover the um, mindset kind of topics for our videos. So today we're just going to do a quick one on my hopes for your uh, approach to this six week challenge um, and some, I guess, kind of tips on um, how I feel you could benefit um, from changing the way you think about a few things in the next six weeks. So firstly, I want you guys to be realistic about what you're going to achieve in six weeks. So to be brutally honest, six weeks, it's, it's nothing in the um, grand scheme of things of getting strong, um, changing factors that have been potentially in your life for 40 plus years. So six weeks, I mean, we didn't take six weeks to get where we are, so it's not going to take six weeks to undo that. So I don't want you to go all in trying to lose crazy amounts of weight or expect to be crazy strong after six weeks. I just want, I want you to find a few things that you're going to focus on and um, just make small changes to that in your lifestyle. To do this, when we pick our goals, we need to meet success on success's terms, not on our terms. So we need to meet success on success's terms, not on our terms. So what I mean by that is um, we have a goal that we pick for ourselves that to us will define success. Say I want to um, get a heavier squat. That's what I would define as a successful training program for me. I increase my squat weight. Um, but I can't make that on my terms. So I can't say, oh, well, you know, I can only be bothered working out once a week and I'm not going to eat any carbs. Um, I'm going to crash my energy stores. But I still want to get a heavier squat. It's not going to work. That's not what it's going to take to get a heavier squat. So you need to meet success on success's terms so to get a heavier squat you need to lift consistently you need to fuel yourself properly with carbs you need to get sleep you don't get to decide what it's going to take to get that heavier squat you need to step up and do the work that it's going to take to get that heavier squat and a lot of this plays into victim mentality so i'm going to quickly touch on victim versus victor mentality so a lot of us, we play the victim and it's extremely common and it's safe. Like we like to look outward and blame all the other things um, because looking inwards is scary and you kind of have to own up to your shit. So a victim would be like, uh, oh, it's not my fault that happened. Whereas a victim mentality would be like, I accept responsibility for that and I'm sorry. Or a victim mentality would be, I don't have the time to get to the gym. I'm a mum. I work a nine to five job. I've got a husband. I've got to do the groceries. Where a victim mentality would be, where in my day can I find time? So yes, I'm doing all those things. But where am I wasting my time? And how much of this is a priority to me? So <laughs> I'll use myself for, as an example. I have breakfast dishes everywhere still at... One o'clock in the afternoon, we have breakfast dishes here. And my, my my victim mentality wants to go, well, I don't have the time. I'm working lots of hours at the moment. I'm training. I'm trying to get kids to school. Whereas victim mentality is like, right, how much time am I wasting scrolling my phone? So did I waste 30 minutes this morning looking at reels on Instagram? I, I had time to do those breakfast dishes, um, but I didn't prioritize that time. So just switching to that uh, different mindset of where can we save that time. Um, victim mentality also kind of says, well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not really sticking to it, but at least I'm not as bad as, I don't know, Sasha in the gym. I'm hoping we don't have a Sasha. I don't think we do. So yeah, like I'm not doing as great as I want to, but Sasha's doing worse, so I'm all good. Whereas the victim mentality doesn't even compare to Sasha. They knuckle down, stay in their own lane, 
and they're focusing on themselves. Um, the victim mentality, you're looking outwards for excuses and you like to feel special. So you like to say this uh, nutritional program doesn't work for me because my body is so exclusive and so special that I need a program that only has almonds cut sideways and I drink my orange juice from a cup but the cup has to be purple and that's the only way my body loses weight. So <laughs> we're looking outwards at the excuses rather than going well maybe I'm just not sticking to my nutrition plan properly and maybe this way of eating is uncomfortable for me and I'm not used to it and I'm a little bit hungry um, and just sitting in the hard. So that's what I want you guys to look at especially in the gym so we like to make our exercises easier because it feels horrible and it hurts so victims kind of like really try and adjust a movement um, to make it easier for themselves whereas victors are very good at going oh yes this feels gross but I'm going to sit in the heart and get used to that feeling because that's where our progress is made so be prepared um, and realistic about what it's going to take to get to where you want to go because it's going to take a lot lot longer than six weeks um, and stop playing the compare contrast competition game stop it so victims like to compare themselves they contrast to others and they're competing about the girl lifting next to them and again this is looking outwards I mean for example you're feeling wonderful about yourself I feel really good I'm strong I've lifted three times this week then you get on the bathroom scales and it says you're up two kilos and instantly your mood is affected by that because you have given your power to this object that is now going to decide how you feel about the day and you are the victim and slave to this thing you were standing on instead of going back to how you were originally feeling when you got onto those scales so remember there are no secrets to this victims are looking for the secret there must be this magic cure that's going to get us fit and make us look like that woman over there in the gym there are no secrets the victor knows this the victim looks for secrets and the victor does the work so keep that in mind you're going to smash six weeks but remember it's six weeks to get your mind thinking differently get some great nutritional habits look after yourself sleep have some intent when you come into the gym don't just come in and be like yeah i'm here to work out what are you going to focus on in that session how were you going last session was your bracing a little bit off and you need to really work on that core and come in with intent and um, leave with a solid focus for next session okay I will leave you with that bye